The Six Principal Organs of the United Nations, UN. The United Nations, UN, has six principal organs, each playing a specific role in the organization's efforts to promote international peace, security, cooperation, and human rights. First General Assembly, UNGA. All the 193 member states have equal representation. This assembly serves as a forum for multilateral discussions on a wide array of international issues, such as the international peace, development, law, and human rights, approving the UN budget, electing non-permanent members to the Security Council, and other key bodies. 2. Security Council, responsible for maintaining international peace and security, consists of 15 members, five permanent, China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States, and 10 non-permanent members elected for two-year terms. Powers, can authorize peacekeeping missions, impose sanctions, or approve military action. Resolutions require the approval of nine out of 15 members, but any permanent member can veto a resolution. Third International Court of Justice, ICJ. The International Court of Justice is the principal judicial body of the UN, also known as the World Court. Responsibilities include settling legal disputes between states and provides advisory opinions on international legal issues. Its judgments are binding on the parties involved. Fourth, Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC. Economic and Social Council is tasked to coordinate the economic, social, and related work of 14 UN specialized agencies, functional commissions, and five regional commissions. ECOSOC facilitates with authority international cooperation on standards and policies related to economic development, human rights, and social progress. Sankiem Secretariat, the administrative organ that carries out the day-to-day -day work of the UN, headed by the Secretary General, who is appointed by the General Assembly on the recommendation of the Security Council. The Secretariat supports the other UN bodies and implements decisions made by them. The Secretariat is responsible for organizing conferences, preparing reports, and managing the budget and programs of the UN. 6. Trusteeship Council Originally created to oversee the administration of trust territories and promote their advancement towards self-government and independence. Its operations have been suspended since 1994 when the last trust territory, Palau, achieved independence. It may meet as needed in the future. These six organs work together to fulfill the UN's mission of promoting global peace, security, human rights, and development. The Clarion Call. The six principal organs of the United Nations acknowledge God in all global issues. The six principal organs of the United Nations, the General Assembly, the Security Council, the International Court of Justice, the Secretariat, the Economic and Social Council and the Trusteeship Council should acknowledge God, the creator and sustainer of all life in all their ways. As these institutions address global, national, and personal matters, they must recognize that true authority belongs to God, who holds sovereign power over every aspect of existence. By acknowledging Him, they align their missions with divine wisdom, ensuring that their actions promote justice, peace, and the well-being of humanity in harmony with God's purpose for creation. This idea reflects the belief that God's wisdom and guidance is absolutely indispensable in international governance for lasting peace, moral clarity, and the common good of all people. Summing it up, the General Assembly is primarily a deliberative body, while the Security Council has more executive power. The ICJ handles legal disputes, and ECOSOC focuses on economic and social development. The Secretariat ensures the organization runs smoothly, and the Trusteeship Council has completed its primary mission of guiding trust territories to self-governance. The current Secretary General of the United Nations, as of 2024, Mr. Antonio Guterres, together with the six principal organs of the United Nations, are called upon to acknowledge God in all global issues. For divine wisdom and guidance is absolutely indispensable in all matters of life. Please like, share, follow, and subscribe to my channel.